large pot. Yeah. barking at them but the rest of the time like when he's looking for them like this it's just so adorable <laughs> yeah we just left the beautiful Psyra we just stayed here half a day mm -hmm. but I did went for a run and saw most of it and we did went for a little hike and the wind is now perfect we're doing 5.8 knots with just the main. I think it's just a bit thermal here around the harbor, but we will see. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Clear really skies, nice. good mm. speed, and we're going to Hears. It's only 25 nautical miles yeah. to the south of Hears. And let me see. Let me see. Let me see. But now it's wind swept around here. Yeah, but it still has its own little beauty and history. Very rich history. The cliffs are quite remarkable. Uh -huh. Lots of fish. Mm. They do fish the local lobster here. Mm. And Sarah was one of the first to stand up to uh, the oppression of the Ottoman Empire in the mm. 1800s. They all died standing against or fighting for their freedom. That's why their logo is freedom or death. They tried to fight the Ottomans back, but they were outnumbered and they retreated into the fort. Mm. And yeah, they blew themselves up together with the all the women oppressive. and children and 2,000 yeah. Ottoman Empire soldiers got blown up. According the, to some historians, the explosion was like a volcano eruption. It was so big. They rather die than yeah. live under depression. Yes. And since then, it's then we didn't ask now. We have to research, but it seems like there are more churches and little chapels than there are actual people on this island. <laughs> yeah. And that's it's not close. an overstatement. That's really not an overstatement. No. But they're very, they're very nice here, very nice people, very proud of the island. So where are we, babes? Are you really filming me for this? I don't know where we are. Babes? I don't know. Some archaeological site, like one out of the million sites there are, but it looks like this one might be important. Uh -huh. And it has a nice view. It's the oldest one in Chios. It's the See, old village. Go of Emborios. I should be filming you. Yeah, yeah. but you're too lazy. <laughs> okay, babe. Now tell us, while you walk up this hill. Welcome to Chios. We are now ascending to the ancient town of Emborios, which is one of the oldest uh, villages in Chios found. And it dates... Kai, shame of you. Ew. Ew. Why did we film that? I don't know. You did it. Okay, I don't know more. Okay, but can you just finish it off nicely and not with Kai pooing? So yeah, it's it's a lovely place here. It's surrounded by the mastic trees on the bushes. Mm -hmm. So here's is very famous for the mastic production. It's good for everything, mostly chewing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Chewing gum. Yeah. And we're gonna be here for maybe one more day and then we're gonna take a fast lane with some strong northerly winds down to Samos or, or Ikaria Ica or Somewhere the there. bottom of the sea. Or Fournoir, which you get really mad when I pronounce it that it's way. It's Fournoir, it's not Fournoir. <laughs>
What do you think that is, babes? Rocks on top of each other. Yeah. In a neat square. The temple of the patron goddess Athena. Hmm. When was it built? It was built. It does not say. Ah, yeah, it is. 8th to 4th century BC. I get off the ruins. I mean, this settlement must have been super beautiful and now you're looking down to the new houses and they're all kind of ugly yeah can i get out of the building in the middle you see the remains of the three columns which supported a large wooden roof must have been super beautiful around here i mean it still is nice all this view. and all these nice boulders around and pine tree. I mean Kai already loves it. Of course we are in Chios because nowhere else do mastic trees grow. <laughs> That's a lie but I think only the people in Chios really know how to plant and harvest and make those bushes into actually really nice trees. And what they do they make little cuts in the bark and then those uh, little resin comes out, which is the mustard. And you can just take it and chew it. And then it gives a taste and it's like a natural chewing gum. <laughs> and you can just spit it out. <laughs> and it, if you take the wrong part, then it will stick to your teeth for a day. That's what happened. That just happened to you, didn't it? No. Yeah. But I can't stop eating it. It's quite tasty. So you can see all At this. At least you smell good now. Yeah. Mm. And it's good according to the according to the mastic producer, it's good for everything. Pharmaceutical products, you can put it into alcohol, you can chew it, you can cook with it, I don't know. Yeah. So I will be very healthy eating this. Yeah. And now let's get out of here before we get in trouble. <laughs> That's a mastic. And how it looks. Looks like a little crystal. pool. A little, a little crystal, crystal pool. yeah. Our Captain Olaf is doing his work. Sailing down to Stamos and Icaria. Those two are sleeping again. <laughs> So we're flying here into Ikaria, hopefully the marina there or the harbor has some space because we're tired, yeah. So that's Ikaria. It's very famous for it. The southern side has always catabatic winds and it's gonna fuck us. <laughs> I'm staying here then. No, you're coming out now. No! Yes! No, I don't want to deal with life. Oh, we should be good. We have suffer boating. Suffer boating. We have the Genoa rolled in and the first reef in. So we're good to go. 7.3 knots. Slow. Yeah, not slow, babe. Now I'm filming, and now you're going really slow. Yeah, seven and a half knots. This is what's going on. We the gusts. Eight knots. The Holy lady man, can do it. Do you mean me? You mean me? Talking about me? No, I talk about Tori. Tori! Oh my god. There was finally actually saving. <laughs> After three months. <laughs> no, but how out of it's a bit too hard for our little autopilot. Yeah. I mean he can do it of course. 
These ghasts are absolutely crazy. And they're not even, I think they get even more crazy further down the, the island. We're not going now, are we? No, okay. I don't want to. We are going to the marina now. That will be fun! Going into the marina in this wind. Oh yeah. So excited for that! Yeah, but we haven't haven't done any major damage to the boat, so it's time to do that as well. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. It's time to do some scratchy stuff. Scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take that one off the to-do list. These are the nice Carian catabatic winds. Very welcoming. You feel happy about me getting wet in such a ha ha ha! It <laughs> looks got funny. Wet. You look <laughs> get wet. It's a little bit of water. He fell overboard. Ha ha ha! Oh motherfucker! This is a flat. Okay, you want to come out? <laughs> you can. Whee. You can wing foil here with your string tanga. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Our new little windy harbor in Korea. It's not very windy, it's just 30 knots. Did you have a good time, babe? Yeah, I'm slightly tipsy. From what? From the... Sprint. And then we had an ouzo. Mm. On an empty stomach. <laughs> but we're living a pretty good life, no? Yeah, Hot yeah. Hot springs, swimming in the ocean, having a little hike here. So we finally left Ikaria. Right Kai? Did you like Ikaria? Yes. Yes, Daddy, I liked Ikaria. Mm. Didn't find a girlfriend, but next time. <laughs>